Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it is Sunday and I thought I would do a little vlog today for our Monday video. Haven't done this in a while, but I'm tired today. So I will bring you along on a recovery day. I get asked often how I have all this energy to do all the things I do, but quite frankly, everybody needs a rest day. So if you can see, I had to go to Target. I was out of coffee. Okay, not out, out, but close enough that it was getting a little scary. So I went to Target. I'll show you what I bought there. I ran to one Dollar Tree, but I'm tired today. So I'll go to Dollar Tree. Excuse me. Dollar Tree for our Wednesday video tomorrow, Tuesday or something. Um, so now we're on our way to Aldi. I need groceries. I don't have any food in my house. Um... And I need to pack two lunches this week. So I have food, but nothing like lunch packable food. This is going to get me through the day. Made some coffee. It is noon. I slept till 10. So just a little heads up. Yesterday, we're sitting in traffic, so I'm not really driving. Yesterday, I um, got up at 6. 6.30 maybe, I don't remember. And I drove to where I was gonna do my Peloton training ride, did my 15 miles on the hills yesterday, came home, I got home around 9.30, 10 o'clock, I think 10 o'clock I got home. Took a quick shower, had some lunch, relaxed for a minute, and then at noon, no, I left at 11.30 because there was some storms coming through and I was nervous about getting downtown uh, in time for the through the storms there was a lot of very bad weather so I left my house at 1130 I went and got Starbucks and then I went to Ohio State University where I work part-time it was the Buckeye Country Superfest was um, yesterday and it was gonna be an 11 or 12 hour day in the heat now because that storm went through um, the weather went from 85 or 89 to 67 for about an hour and then it started creeping back up again but it was nice the breeze was nice I was able to get in without getting wet so the stadium is kind of it's not closed in so it's indoor outdoor the field is open the most of the stands are open to the elements and then there's certain sections it's in the shape of a horseshoe was in the shape of a horseshoe. They have closed off the end, but I was undercover is what it's called. I was on a deck, B deck to be exact, working at the guest services booth. So I went to my position at one and I left my position at 11.45 PM. I was tired. Got home, got in bed. It was about one o'clock after I got something to drink and went to bed and I slept till 10. I never sleep till 10, but today I said, girl, you are good. And it wasn't terrible. Um, there were 65,000 fans there, but this is a festival. So I don't know what time it started. Maybe one o'clock noon. They had another a, like a fan fest in a different building and they had like local bands playing and all kinds of stuff over there and then everybody made their way to the arena or the stadium and trickled in i mean the first act was supposed to go on at three but because of the delay in the weather they didn't come on until five and i think at five six o'clock only half of the people were in the building they were tailgating and partying and there was things going on all over and then by the time Luke Combs came on at 9.15, so they were able to make up an hour and a half almost of delay. By the time Luke Combs came on at 9.15, um, everybody was pretty much in the building and he played for almost two and a half hours. So, I mean, it was great. Everybody had a good time. I mean, it's just amazing to stand there and watch 65,000 people enjoying and singing along and the thing like for a concert like this where I didn't buy the ticket I'm not invested in the artist I really am not a I mean, I'm not anti-country but I don't listen to country music 
I could appreciate the crowd and not the music, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I was helping people. Uh, my position at this game was guest services. So I sit at a, like a table and I answered questions. Where is this? Where is that? How do I find the bathroom? Where is food? Um, where's the best place for parking when I leave? How do I get to here? Because, the, you know, the campus is very large and people park wherever because they're just excited to get there and then they necessarily don't remember where they park. So we do a lot of, well, there was this building or that. And so we try to help them, you know, get back to their parking. Or if there's any medical emergencies, we have a radio. We can call in for first aid. And we're just eyes and ears on the building. But I'm in a, this position is sedentary. I don't roam about. They come to me. So I visited with people. Um, the stadium did supply us with a uh, dinner buffet, pulled pork, salad, beverages, ice cream, all kinds of stuff. Because it was anticipated to be very hot yesterday. So really, even though the storm was kind of a bummer for the people who were standing in it, it really did a lot to help with the heat. So that was great. So I did that. So today I just need to, I'm getting ready to run into the bookstore. I need a new magazine and I need a book to read because I think I'm going to the pool this afternoon. I had all these grand plans of what I was going to do today, but you know what, it's probably going to be go to the grocery store and get some stuff to make lunch for tomorrow and then go hang out by the pool for a little bit and relax and go to bed early because tomorrow I have to go in the office, which means I need to leave the house Typically, I don't have to get to my desk until 8 a.m., but because I have to be at the office at 8 a.m., I have to leave here at 7 a.m., so um, I just need to get all my stuff prepped for that, meaning put my laptop, get all my work stuff in my bag by the front door, pack my lunch, and pull out something to wear tomorrow. And get, I like to have it all laid out and ready. And then I literally just have to get up, take a shower, do my hair, put some makeup on, throw on whatever outfit I have laid out. And they're pretty, pretty low key at the office at this point. Um, I'll just throw, I have a sundress I'll put on or a summer dress. Those are so easy and comfortable. And then I will head to the office. One of my employees um, will be in the office as well tomorrow. So we're all kind of rotating in and out at this point. And so my goal is to go to the office when one of my staff is there. I have a, I a manager of five people. And so if I go in twice a week, I can go in with each one of these. You know, when they're rotating, I will rotate through. If that makes sense. I don't, it does, I don't have to go in when my team is there, but to me it makes sense to go in when my team is there because I can have some one-on-one. -on -one, we can chat it up. We can, you know, visit, catch up, make sure if there's anything going on that I can, you know, we can talk face-to-face. -face. All right. I'm going to the bookstore and then I'm going to the grocery store. The bookstore just happens to be on the way home. And then I will show you all the things I purchased this morning. And then I will get ready and I'll bring you to the pool with me. I think you want to go to the pool, right? Seems like it's going to be a, a nice pool day. And Sarah's coming. Maybe I'll have you meet Sarah. We'll interview her. All right, I'll show you. All right, here's what I got for the week at Aldi. Um, I got some chicken tenders. I'm going to make... Um, keto chicken fingers. So I got six bags of these. I'm going to grind them up in the food processor, add some Parmesan cheese, and that's what I use to bread chicken or onions for onion rings. Delish. I got coconut milk, some keto crackers. These are good for my lunches because I'm just going to pack a sandwich tomorrow. Cream cheese for a recipe. And then this two good yogurt I love, and I've not tried the lemon but there is only three carbohydrates and two sugars. So I think this is pretty good for me. Uh, half sour pickles, I just love pickles, guys. And then I got some Egg Life wraps, which I use these for sandwiches or whatever. So all that was about $50, cause you know, oh, and cheese. I'm gonna cut up some trail bologna and I have cheese to go with that. So that is everything I bought at Aldi. I'll show you what I got at Target and everything in a minute. Okay guys, just got out of the shower. 
the pool was a little busy so I wasn't able to video down there and my tripod is upstairs so you're sitting on my paper towel roll now I am making onion rings and I have chicken tenders in the air fryer so what I did is I ground up six bags of pork rinds in the food processor with Parmesan cheese grind 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 and then I dipped everything in egg and then I put it into the pork rinds and Parmesan cheese a little salt and pepper and the rest of them are in the freezer so I will have bags of pork of pork rind covered onion rings and chicken tenders for the next like month or two definitely if I have like once a week or something then that will be good now I am cleaning up with a little bleach cleaner just on the counter and stuff where the chicken I needed a paper towel where the chicken was um, just to make sure it's all sanitized and then I will show you I didn't show you before what I got at Target yet because um, I went to the pool first before the rain came we were gonna get some rain and I'm just trying to clean up my house a little bit so once I show you what I have then I can Ugh, my hair. I can put the coffee away and I didn't do my hair tonight because I'm getting ready for work in the morning, so I'll do it then. I know. All right. Well, I have chicken cooking in the air fryer and then I'm going to put the onion rings in the air fryer and I will show you what it looks like before I'm done eat, before I finish eating it. But first, I'll show you what I got at Target. All right, let's show you what I got at Target. And little Looney Toonie is here visiting us. Yes, her is. This is my niece, Sarah's dog, Luna. She is here visiting while Sarah's off having dinner with a friend. And Luna's here with the cats. Okay, go get your boys. Go play with the boys, yeah. Um, also, I sewed a new bag. So Sarah and I were talking and we love this Ruth Bader Ginsburg fabric from Joanne and then I did a little turquoise accent to go with the earrings and then I made a little wristlet. I made Sarah one as well. So it's gonna hold our planner. So the fabric is all from Joanne, including the zipper. And then on the inside, I just have some white on white. I like white on the inside because you can see what's down in there. Now, and then this comes off if she wants it on or off and we can pull our put our and it fits our planner I did make a small flat bottom of one inch on each side just so it will hold so I made these I am thinking for next year for my Pelotonia fundraiser maybe sewing bags for people at certain levels of donation does that sound like something anybody would be interested in like I would pre make a bunch of bags and at whatever level you donate to my ride, you'll get a bag. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay, so there's that. Because I've had a lot of interest in the bags, and I'm not going to sell them, but I am willing to sew some over the next year that I will have for giveaway for donations. This year I have a bag for a giveaway for a donation for my ride, but that's just going to go to one person. This way, anybody who wants one, if depending on what size or whatever I come up with, that's one way, but I don't know. You let me know. Anywho, so Target. I went into Target today, and they had these out. These are their joggers. Um, the brand is called All in Motion. It's the Target brand. I love these. They are cuffed at the bottom. They are so soft. They did have matching sweatshirts, but they didn't have my size. And so I just got a pair of black, and these are not on sale. They're $24. And then they have this slate color, which I am obsessed with this color. So I'm hoping to find some sweatshirts that match. I went online and they don't carry that on their online store, which I think is bizarre, but who knows? So I picked up those this morning and typically, you know, I don't need jog, I don't need pants, but I wanted joggers. So there's that. 
Um, I just picked up two ranch seasoning packets. I need these to make some biscuits that are keto. Hi. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. Um, so I just grabbed them because I was going to Aldi and Aldi doesn't have them. And same thing, I really like Hidden Valley Ranch, so I grabbed a bottle of this to have with my dinner. Now I know, Luna. Then I was at the dollar spot and I picked up this, which I thought was fantastic. It is a selfie vlogging. So this is a selfie light and your phone can sit here. But the problem is my phone is so heavy that it ends up pointing downward. So I'm not sure if I can keep this because it doesn't, okay, please stop licking me. It doesn't seem to be a good idea. It doesn't hold, it just too, it doesn't hold my phone up and I certainly don't wanna be underneath it like that. So I probably will return that. Um, these were on clearance at 50% off at my store and they're like charcuterie board risers. And so I got one of each and look at, you can put your, that's what they're for, but I will probably use them for like displaying things probably in my new craft room when I get around to finishing up that but what they are I can take this off and show you they have little legs that come out and then they they're different heights so this this one is taller than this one look at the leg so it'll just and I can use it to store things on as well and under and they were regularly $5 and I got them for $2.50. So I thought that was fantastic. I did not get a lot of stuff, but um, I love Mrs. Meyer's dish soap. And this is acorn, which is 100% fall. It just reminds me of fall days. It reminds me of pumpkin spice. Oh, it smells so good. Um, and just liquid, liquid dish soap. It'll go in my dispenser when fall comes. But they were literally down to this two of these left they go pretty fast at my target anyway so i walked past i smelled it and i said oh i need that i need that because i don't have any more fall smells huh, ma'am can you stop licking my legs please it's weird it's kind of weird i'm just saying and then the last thing i got nothing too terribly exciting is coffee um this is the target brand good and gather and they had vanilla honey and honey almond on sale for four dollars and 99 cents for a box of 16 which is half price so I grabbed one of each uh, because I drink a lot of coffee if you have if you're new around here I'm a coffee person and then I bought two of these which are the big boxes 22 count Let's see if I can get this right of Duncan vanilla and hazelnut just to have I you know I like K cups for their convenience but I also use regular coffee so that my friends is everything I got at Target I just wanted to show you because I was out and about today and now we're gonna go back to the kitchen and we're gonna see if our chickens ready alrighty these are my onion rings now these were from the end of the batch so they're a little Sparse, but I don't care. They'll taste just the same. And these are the chicken tenders, but listen to this. They are crusty. A little ranch dressing and of course some coffee, but I'll probably have water. So I have a bunch of onion rings in the freezer and a whole entire family size package of chicken tenders that I will be able to eat up and enjoy. I highly recommend cooking ahead for your freezer, especially if you're busy. I can go in at any time, throw this in my air fryer, and everything will be darn tootin' good. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. All right, friends. I am sitting down relaxing. I am watching some Floss Tube. That is Brenda and the Cereal Starter. I have stuff that I'm getting ready to donate. I have a sleepy cat here, a sleepy cat here, and a Luna. Luna. Oh, there's a Luna tushy. There's a Luna girl over there. I am working on my cross stitch. This is I Am No Bird by Modern Folk Embroidery. The fabric is called Peanut Brittle, and it is from Leo and Roxy Flosco. 
The floss is red inappropriate, it's called, by also Leo and Roxy Floss Co. And I get all this stuff from Evertote, uh, evertote.ca. Um, so I'm just working on my cross stitch tonight. And little Miss Luna is standing on my arm on my chair. And that bag is also from evertotes.ca. And Wellington likes to sleep on them. Uh, all right, guys, that is everything for me today. Right, Looney? Right? Yes, here. Oh, Luna. There's a pretty girl. Uh, I am tired, and I'm going to relax and enjoy the rest of my evening. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk with you later. Bye. I can't help it. He's too cute.